Um, I do think that this token is viewed as valuable or valuable long term. However, there are a lot of tokens, 1 billion. They're not all in circulation, obviously. But, um, you know, with that being said, basically, it, it could have a negative effect. But what I've noticed is. Crypto slow, cryptocurrency news and investing. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? Today we're going to talk about Uniswap, liquidity, pool mining, yield farming, whatever you want to call it. So, first and foremost, the uh, Uniswap protocol coin uni launched yesterday last night and it's off to a roaring start um, if you didn't check out my previous video see how to claim your 400 free tokens if you traded before september um if you traded before september 1st um, it does seem to dedupe wallets per se um, if you had multiple wallets in your MetaMask. But let's talk about the liquidity pool mining. Um, so if you head on over, there is a uni link. And what you need to do is hit control F5. If you're on Uniswap, make sure you're on the OG Uniswap.org um, and don't get scammed. So as you can see, we have four initial pools that will mine the uni coin. And mining starts in about 9 million. TVL looks to be about 40, 70, about 100 million right now. I would expect to see this in the billion dollar range um, pretty quickly. Uh, YFV is about a half, half a billion. Um, several of the other protocols are about a half billion. So what do you need to do to get started? Well, you have to get liquidity pool tokens. So the first thing you want to do is head over to whichever pool you're going to choose and split your stack. So step one, get some ETH. Step two, um, basically split your stack in half. Give yourself about one ETH to um, you know to transact with because gas fees are are pretty high at the moment. Once your stack is split, so let's say you had 10 ETH, just basically cut it in half you know, five and five. So you would sell five ETH for your DAI, USDC, USDT, whichever pool. Now, I know in some of the previous videos I've talked that I don't like 50-50 pools. However, there is an exception. The exception is if the primary coins in the pool are tokens that you can hold, that you can sleep at night. And honestly, I don't mind owning WBTC and I don't mind I am long on ETH. So... I, I have no problem doing this. Now, what do I think it's going to do to the price? Well, it just really depends. Um, I do think that this token is viewed as valuable or valuable long term. However, there are a lot of tokens, 1 billion. They're not all in circulation, obviously. But, um, you know, with that being said, basically, it could have a negative effect, but what I've noticed is whales typically hyper compound tokens in these pools as they search for yield, and then the price takes a hit. Um, you know, it could be five days a week later. So typically, pools will always have a pump mechanism when they first start. So once you've split your stack, um, let's get into it. So I'm going to do the EWPTC. I'm going to hit deposit. And then I hit step one, get Uni V2 liquidity tokens, um, add ETH WPTC tokens. So you have to have the the uh, LP token first. But this is pretty self-directed. Um, like I said, it's going to sense this. So I'm going to go from the BTC side so the ETH side's a little heavier. I hit max, um, have to approve. Going bananas on gas. Been using like 550. Should be pretty fast. So typically you have to approve that you're using these tokens before you can um, use it. As always, be sure to check out my videos on um, speeding up transactions or getting stuck transactions out um, this is a great video so then I hit supply ok 
Okay. Gonna go ahead and crank the gas again. Confirm. Close. Should go through pretty quickly. Deposit Uni V2 LP tokens. Gonna go ahead and hit max. Approve and hit deposit. 550 gas. Hit save, confirm. And there's about 34 million in there. Now you could go to a more undersubscribe pool, obviously for greater rewards. Um, but you know, I really don't want to go hard on die or um, a stable at this point. So, all right, all right. So there's no pull rates yet, so we don't know um, what these drip rates are going to be, but. Um, once this launches, I will do a follow-up video. So it will be interesting to see if the price can hold, um, you know, with everybody mining this. So I'm going to have to wait and see. So hope you liked today's video. Like and subscribe. As always, this is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.